Harry, this afternoon, the president also announced a $500 million investment to improve the city of Philadelphia's drinking water. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementry is breaking down the investment and hearing from leaders on what this means for many of you. Not long after touching down at Philadelphia International, President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and other elected officials came together at the Belmont Water Treatment Plant in Winfield. Every person in this country deserves to be able to turn on a faucet and have clean drinking water. And through the infrastructure law, we're making historic investments to make sure that they can. It's an investment Philadelphia Council Member Curtis Stones Jr. says continues the work already being done by the city to improve aging water infrastructure. With inflation, the money helps keep everything on pace. 23% of the water that we produce goes out in water main breaks. So this kind of infrastructure money coming to Philadelphia is going to be huge. $160 million of the overall investment is for replacing 19 miles worth of lead pipes and upgrading water facilities. The other $340 million comes in the form of an Environmental Protection Agency loan, with a portion of that going towards financing projects to replace 160 lead service lines and 13 miles of water mains. You're not thinking you're facing Detroit or other municipalities that kicked the can down the road so many years that that price tag is almost insurmountable to taxpayers locally. Flora Cardoni with Penn Environment believes lead water contamination is the biggest hurdle the city faces. Making this investment into actually tackling that problem is huge and we're so happy they're here today to show that they're not just talking the talk but they're actually you know delivering the dollars. Cardoni hopes this announcement spawns investments in other areas for the city. There's much more we can do to improve our infrastructure, clean up our air and water and protect our health nationwide. Both the Biden administration and and council member we spoke with today say this multi-million dollar investment will also create new jobs. In Winfield, Nikki Dementry, CBS News, Philadelphia.